Amplifier brands today seem absolutely infatuated with taking their most sought after amplifiers and most popular amplifiers and just condensing them and compressing them and molding them into the tiniest little package that they can while also retaining the awesome tone and the awesome sound of that amplifier. Well, Today we are going to be checking out one of those tiny, tiny little packages, and it is probably from one of the most well-known amplifier companies among high-gain guitar players. We're going to be checking out the Saldano SLO Overdrive Pedal. Let's get into it. I'm sure everyone's already familiar with the name Saldano, and ever since Saldano's flagship amplifier, the Super Lead Overdrive came out back in the 1980s, there have been quite a few additions to the family, including a 30 watt version, a 30 watt solid state mini amplifier version, which actually we had the chance to check out not too long ago. And also Saldano has worked with Synergy Amplification to bring you guys a fully tubed module of the preamp of an SLO that would fit perfectly into Synergy's Syn1 and Syn2 units. Well, today we are gonna be checking out the newest addition in the Saldano family, which is the Saldano SLO overdrive pedal. When you're looking at the Saldano SLO overdrive pedal, it's pretty much formatted as you would expect any other overdrive pedal to look like. It has a volume, you have your presence, your gain, and also a three band EQ, your treble, middle, and bass. But let's say you need more depth in your sound, you need more low end frequency, more detail in that low end. Well, on the side of this pedal, you have a deep switch, and that would be the perfect thing for you. Other than that, you have your in, your out, and your plug-in for the power supply. Thank you. 
In the demo at the beginning of the video, that was just the Saldano SLO overdrive pedal going straight into my computer, and I was using a Bogren Digital IR for it, which is really cool. I got a great result out of it. It sounded awesome, but I want to show you guys what the Saldano SLO overdrive pedal sounds like being treated more as a preamp pedal and getting boosted in the front. And I will be using the exact same guitar, exact same IRs, everything. Just like any of my other demos, there is no post-processing, no EQing, no compression, none of the sort. Just the same everything except being boosted in the front of the pedal. Let's get into it. Let's talk about my takeaways from the SLO overdrive pedal. It's a really, really cool pedal that is very rich and really, really smooth. Though I had my best results with this pedal when I boosted the front of it and treated it more like a preamp. I'm a metalcore player who plays a lot of really tight, chuggy riffs and the pedal, the SLO overdrive by itself kind of reminds me of like an amplifier that has a little bit of a higher sag to it and is a little bit more fuzzy. So when I boosted the front of it, it instantly put it right in that pocket where I needed it to be to get those chuggy riffs, to keep it really tight for me. Where I can see the SLO overdrive pedal really succeeding quite immensely actually is for lead guitar players that like to do a lot of solos, like to do a lot of crazy licks and stuff. I can definitely see it doing well for that because the lead guitar that you heard in the demos today, it made those buttery smooth, like so buttery smooth. It was actually kind of crazy. So if you are a lead player that plays a lot of licks and does a lot of solos, this pedal is definitely for you. I'm sure the question everyone is dying to ask and know the answer for is, is the SLO overdrive pedal comparable to the SLO 100 amplifier? Unfortunately, I would not be able to actually answer that for you guys because I don't have any experience playing on an SLO 100 amplifier, mostly because the price point is just a little bit more expensive than I am willing to pay and be able to afford. But if I do get my hands on an SLO 100, I would love to do a comparison video between the two and see which one I like better and just how comparable they are to each other. If you guys would like to get your hands on an SLO overdrive pedal, I will have the link for that down in the description below. If you're enjoying my videos in any way, shape, or form, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. My name is Chris with High Impact Audio, and I will see you next time.